Okay, so here at Profound, we are all about being profound and standing out and being different. And landing my first job was the first time I really could say I was profound. And let me tell you how, let me tell you my story. Uh, because I wanna encourage you guys to all be profound and stand out and find different ways to get that job. I know so many of you are, you know, doing the same thing, trying to find that first job. Maybe you're fresh out of school or maybe you've been in the job market for a while and nothing is clicking and you're like, I just don't know how to stand out. Um, so let me tell you what I did. So uh, my first job, I was coming out of uh, the brick warehouse actually as a media buyer and I had a gentleman who was a sales representative that said, hey, you'd be really good in sales. I had absolutely no background in sales. I was really pretty fresh out of university and uh, I wasn't even sure I wanted sales. But I thought, okay, well, you know, it makes more money and so what the heck, I'm gonna go give it a try. So I ended up going into uh, AGT at the time, which was Alberta Government Telephones. And it was right at a period of time when they were hiring their very first sales force because um, competition was coming into market. This is how old I am. So uh, I ended up uh, getting an opportunity. I got in front of the hiring manager and he, I was granted a, a meeting with him, a coffee meeting. So I sat down with him and basically to wrap things up quickly, he said, that's great, you're a really nice person, Terry, but you have no sales experience, of which I thought, oh, I know I don't. So, you know, everybody has a mentor in life, and this one particular sales rep gentleman uh, was my mentor, and he said to me, Terry, you can't let it land at that. Um, you gotta go after this. And he said, did you notice anything in his office that's really appealing that he likes to do? I said, well, he seemed to have all these pictures of himself golfing. So he said, you've got to do something around that and stand out. So I ended up um, calling all across Canada and into the United States to find John Daly's agent. And the reason I did that is because I had heard a story about John Daly that he really struggled to become a professional and when he actually was given an opportunity to do so, he succeeded and he did amazingly well and now he's the pro that we all know of uh, today. So I decided I was gonna take this article, I was gonna get a golf ball, and I was gonna send it down to this agent in the US, and I was gonna have him get John Daly to sign this ball and send it back to me, but I had very limited time to do it. So I got a Purolator, um, you know, uh, courier, and I shipped it down there, and I had a self-addressed courier back, and uh, sure enough, John Daly signed the ball, because I had put in there that I needed him to sign this and get it back to me quickly because I was going for this job and uh, I ended up getting that ball back and I created a letter that basically said to the sales manager over at AGT slash TELUS and said I know if you give me this opportunity just like John Daly did have that I will become your pro and in it was that ball with his signature and that afternoon when that package arrived at that sales manager's desk, I ended up getting a call and with no further interviews, I was hired for that job. And from what I had heard, it went up to the president of TELUS. And uh, it's about being different. It's about standing out. And what did I really do there? I stood out, but I sold myself. And that is what so many people forget, that when you're looking for a job, you need to sell you. You need to stand out. And then when I talk to people about this, they say, well, what about if they think I'm, you know, I'm kind of crazy by doing this? And my answer to that is, well, you know what? You weren't getting the job anyways. So be a little crazy, stand out, do something a little different because what do you have to lose? Stand out everyone, be profound. Mm -hmm.